Hello everybody. Today we have a Micro Pro 2012 A278. And the problem is it's got it's got a problem with the the ribbon cables. But basically I've tried different hard drives and all of them's got opening systems. You know, for the Mac it's got a Sierra, all of them. But none of them actually detects it. So the hard drive is good. So what I believe so I have more sure, but let's actually find out. So basically this comes with this flashing question mark. So let's shut it down and replace something inside. It's pretty simple. Just follow along with me. So I've already removed the screws. You know, there's like 20,000 screws, but yeah. You can use a Phillips screwdriver, double zero. I've got my electrical screwdriver. They're about 90 bucks on eBay. So once you remove all the screws, just flip it up. And yeah, let's actually do it this way. So this is what we need to replace. This one that goes into hard drive. Okay, so yeah. This bit that goes into hard drive, so they need to be replaced. But I'm not sure, most of the time it works. Some rare cases it doesn't. Anyway, let's get started. So first of all, Move this bit over here first. These two screws. Move them. That's it. Flick it up. Just careful with the ribbon cables so you don't damage the hard drive or the cable itself is working. So that's out of the way. So yeah, let's open these two screws. First one's out. So just yeah, flick it up, flick it out like that. Now, sometimes when you get these replacement bit online. That's what it comes with so don't throw this out if it comes with this it doesn't really matter but in my case it doesn't matter so for me i didn't buy i already have this uh this bit over here that um it's totally stuffed so i'm replacing uh using this here so Alright, so that's it. Push it in, so that's in. Now let's go for the kill. All right, so it goes on like that. Put that back in. Well, you should have removed the the battery cables, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's my laptop, so I can do whatever I want to do with it. So, uh, let's see. Is it on? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Really? Let's see. I doubt that it worked. Okay, so that's a good news. It means the, the hard drive has been detected. But let me 
Let me get a USB. Give me a sec. All right, so that's a good news actually because it means the hard drive is in. So. Hold the shift and have your, um, maybe I've got a USB, you know. In my case, I've got a USB. If you don't have USB, you can turn it to install Windows. But basically, this is the hard drive we have, 750 gig. But it looks like it's crap. So, yay, that's a good news. So we're going to install El Capitan on this thing. So yeah, um, that's it guys. Uh, well, wait around to like go to the skill videos to show you, but basically that's it. The main thing that there was a problem in this machine was basically the, the, uh, the detections of, sorry guys. Yeah, so, um, yeah, sorry about that, but basically, um, yeah, that's it wasn't detecting so right now i can see the hard drive and now with my usb i'm going to wipe it all out put new opening systems um and that's it but um but if you don't have the usb uh, which apparently you can get it uh, for some texting bucks on ebay you can just select the the internet wi-fi at the bottom of where you selected this usb on the screens the options they came up after press the press and hold the option key and connect to the internet and it will download the most compatible versions of operating systems for your Mac but I don't have that problem so <clears throat> all right so um, in this kit the recovery uh, screen and go to the utilities Depends on which operating systems you're going to log into, it's going to show a little difference, but regardless, it's going to be an option at the utilities and disk utility. And let's see, voila, there we go. Seven fifty GB. So you do that first, I get the problems a lot. So once that's erased, <clears throat> but it's done. So close that, uh, commands Q. Uh, and continue continue agree oh before i do that let me check the date make sure everything is okay so you just write date 2018 that's a good thing um i have this problem with these machines that if i have the current date uh then it wouldn't work it just gives me an error so i backed it two years ago and then it works just fine so I select my drive, continue. That's it, guys. There's nothing else to say. Everything else is uh, self-explanatory. But uh, yeah, good luck and have fans and be safe out there with this whole pandemic. Crap. Ciao, ciao.